Hi everybody, Mrs. Darby's story time. Well, being as we've been learning about habitats, I thought we'd learn about this little person here, not person, little animal, and he's an otter. And this is an otter's first swim, so have a look, see where you think he might live. I think most of you will know. Look at that picture, what a great illustration. So let's see. Late one morning when the tide was low, her mother otter led her three cubs over the rocks and the seaweed to the shoreline. You've been bobbing about in the shallows, but it's time now for your first swimming lesson in deep water, she said. You'll love swimming. <clears throat> she dived in and splashed them playfully. Come in, the water's lovely she whistled happily. The little otters weren't so certain. Have you seen those lovely pictures? She picked up the first little otter and carried her into the sea where, with a little help, soon she was playing and swimming. The second little otter thought it looked like fun and dived in before mother came back. He learned quickly too and floated, swam, and played with his sister and mother. The third little otter stayed behind. His sister and brother whistled to him to join them. Come on, it's lovely, they called. But when the cold water splashed against him, he sprang back. It was cold and horrid. There was no way he was going to get in that water. He turned away from the sea as fast as his little legs would carry him. His mother whistled and called after him, but he didn't turn around. He climbed onto a rock and decided to lie in the sun for a while to catch his breath. Before he knew it, he was yawning and shortly after that, he was fast asleep. He woke up with a start to the sound of piercing whistles. His family were trying to get his attention. The tide had turned and the sea was rising quickly around his rock. The little otter stood up and looked around, anxiously for another rock to jump onto. But he was trapped. Oh dear. The water was getting higher and higher and the other otters swam around, shouted, shouting for him to jump in. But he didn't want to go in and he didn't know what to do. Soon, there was only one thing he could do. Splash! He was in the water and sinking to the bottom. Swim! Swim up! Up! His mother said. She was right behind him, guiding him towards the surface. As they reached the surface, she said, Now breathe! And showed him how. And to the little otter's surprise, now that he was swimming, he found pleasure in the cool water. What a great picture that is. Soon he was diving for fish, chasing his mother and playing with his brothers and sisters. He had so much fun that he didn't realise the hours were passing and soon it was time to go home. What a beautiful illustration of the sun setting. I love that story. I hope you did too. That otter was so cute, wasn't he? Hope you liked it. See you later. Bye.